Did you know successful people are humans, not robots? They eat, sleep, and have hobbies just like us. Shocking, right? But if they are humans just like us, how do they become successful and not us? Well, this is because of their commitment, willpower, and discipline. The positive habits and routines successful people cultivate to enhance their quality of life is one thing they share in common. Old habits might be challenging to break, but if you can adopt a few new crucial habits, they'll help you live a happier, longer life. Hello there! This is the Financial Fortune Channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about 10 practices that will significantly enhance your life forever. Don't forget to hit like, click subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we release new videos. Number 1. Start your morning right This is not just about waking up early but it is also about having holistic morning routine. When you wake up, make a to-do list and list all the tasks that you have and might do today. This will make you feel motivated and enthusiastic throughout the day. This can help you beat procrastination and have a smooth productive flow instead of being overwhelmed by what is the next thing to do. You can also make a to-do list at night before you sleep so that when you wake up, you have more reasons to get up quickly. Aside from to-do lists, you can also do exercises that are good for your health. For your physical health, move your body, follow a yoga class, go to the gym or run around the block. For your mind, you can meditate, read an inspiring book, or write a gratitude journal. Of course, it is also important to eat a healthy breakfast to help you have energy throughout the day. Number 2. Practice Gratitude As Tony Robbins said, When you are grateful, fear disappears and abundance appears. Life throws us lemons and we cannot help but be angry about it. We sometimes think that life is so unfair. Why can I have a brand new BMW instead of just riding a bicycle every day just to go to work? Why is he promoted and I wasn't? But have you ever considered that at least you have the means to get to work and that you still have a job? We need to be more appreciative of what we have today. Remember that there are some people out there that do not have the means to go to work. Some do not have any jobs. It's not bad to dream of big things, but don't let it make you feel miserable about what you have. You should always be grateful for what you have. Do not say thank you just because you received a blessing or your wishes came true. You should be consciously saying thank you every day for what you have and where you are in life. This will make you see a positive outlook in life. Having a gratitude journal can help you develop the habit of gratitude. Dedicate a time in your day to write what you are grateful for. You can start it with I am grateful for and write at least three things daily. When you write, remember those days when these things help you in your life, when your life become easier or the happiest. Feel its magnificence. Embrace it like the person you love the most. What are you grateful for today? Comment down below. Number 3. Go for a social media detox. Do you know what is your average screen time daily? There are a lot of phones today that have a screen timer to track the amount of time you consume in every app on your phone. If this feature is not available in your phone, there are also apps that can be downloaded to track your screen time. An average American spends around 7 minutes of screen time every day. That is equivalent to the required sleeping hours of an adult. Ever since smartphones and social media sites began, we become more fixated on them. It becomes a part of our daily routine to check our phones and scroll through different social media apps. You may not know it, but we are starting to feed our minds with ideas that are either nonsense, false, or hurting. Our minds become filled with these unnecessary thoughts which can eventually lead to depression. Going for a social media detox can help you disconnect and be in touch with reality. You'll start to appreciate more the things that are just right beside you. Designate at least a day per week for your social media detox. It would be better if you do it on your day off. If you find that an extreme start, you can start detoxifying for a few hours first. Do not open any social media apps for 3 hours, or you can even delete one social media that you think can have a significant negative effect on you. Number 4. You might have heard the world's self-care for the past years. Investing in self-care becomes prevalent today because people started to value having time for themselves and taking care of their mental health. With a lot of things happening around you, whether you are a student, a worker, a businessman or a parent, everyone deserves to rest. It really is a good idea to just sit back and relax. Taking time for yourself can positively impact your mood, self-esteem, 
most especially your mental health. Do something that you really enjoy or something that can make you relax. Go shopping, have a movie marathon, bake something, have a spa day or eat out in a fancy restaurant. Take extra time off every week if possible and just do the things that make you happy. How about you? What are the things that make you happy? Comment down below. Number 5. Exercise regularly. When was the last time you exercised? Our body is designed to move. If you do not exercise, your body will become stiff and you'll have a hard time doing any physical activities. Set aside at least 10 to 30 minutes daily for your exercises. It doesn't have to be a vigorous start. You do not have to start immediately in the gym. There are a lot of videos online of beginner workout routines. If you find it boring, you can exercise by dancing. Follow a K-pop choreography you've been eyeing for days. Moving your body has a lot of benefits. Other than losing calories, it can improve your creativity and cognitive skills and strengthen your heart. It can improve digestion, sleep, and appetite and can decrease the chance of getting some serious illnesses. I know it seems easy as it sounds but starting is really the hardest exercise. Even fitness gurus mentioned that there would be days when you just want to stay in bed all day. If you are currently struggling with this, always remember that you have to show up. Tell yourself to just show up and somehow walk outdoors for 10 minutes. Remind yourself how beneficial exercise is and that if you do this, you'll thank yourself later. Number 6. Read a book Although some of the advantages of daily brain stimulation may not be instantly obvious, science is indicating that our brains change as we learn. Our brains tend to slow down, become less reactive, and become more susceptible to disease over time if we don't exercise them. Reading books is a fantastic method to expand your knowledge and inspire your imagination. Reading enhances focus and has a relaxing impact similar to meditation. Non-fiction books are great for expanding your horizons by inspiring you and assisting you in coming up with new ideas, but not all books have the same impact. Since they are based on actual events, they provide helpful guidance on how to deal with a variety of difficult circumstances. It has been shown that lifelong learners react more quickly, have stronger social skills, and are happier overall. It can help prevent dementia, enhance memory function, enhance the processing of new information, and increase productivity. Additionally, the idea of learning something new gives you a feeling of direction and enhances your attractiveness. Choose to read a book rather than use social media or watch television to assist you to ease into this habit. Number 7. Build relationships with the right people Even if you might like spending time alone, did you know that having supportive social connections and a sense of community will help you live longer? In addition to providing us with enjoyment, social interactions have an impact on our long-term health. It is equally crucial to health as food, rest, and exercise. We value our relationships just as much as we value the sun's rays on our souls and food for our bodies. Be aware of the people you are surrounding yourself with as you do this. Additionally, they should be optimistic about life or about the path they are taking to get there. You should inform on healthy habits only to be social since you are the average of the five individuals you spend the most time with. The people you love and care about need to be near the top of that list since we turn to them for support when life gets busy or stressful. As long as you set priorities, it doesn't matter what you are working on or concentrating on in life. Number 8. Stop Multitasking I hate to break it to you but only 2% of individuals in the world can multitask properly. You may assume that because we live in a busy, thriving city, multitasking comes naturally to us. While occasionally multitasking is harmless, constantly switching between projects makes it difficult to concentrate. By making it harder for your brain to filter out unnecessary information and causing it to move from one activity to another without being able to focus well on either, this in turn contributes to mental overload. Number 9. Follow the 80-20 rule This rule states that 20% of tasks in every situation result in 80% of the results. This means that while the items on your to-do list are important, the ones that have the most impact should receive the majority of your time and attention. If you concentrated on this 20%, you would have increased productivity and would have more time to devote to other tasks on the same to-do list. People who are easily distracted or who are overworked can benefit from this. Number 10. Practice Minimalism 
Don't worry, I'm not telling you to throw everything away and adopt a hippie lifestyle. Nothing wrong with that to be sure. All I'm saying is that having a lot of possessions can make our lives more difficult. We have a tendency to gather, show, move, clean and then store our possessions. You'll see that dealing with these issues doesn't necessarily make us happy. Instead, it only wastes our time. Minimalism promotes both health and prosperity. You're left with an uncluttered, complicated environment and life as you get rid of the stuff you do not use or need. It's the art of living simply, using basic tools, maintaining a basic clothing, and carrying less. Life is short and sensory overload may make it chaotic. Imagine having to deal with the burden of expenses at the same time as relationships, employment, and things. With minimalism, you have the chance to shift the spotlight from belongings and obligations to loved ones and happiness. It's not a get-happy-quick scheme, but minimalism does free up space in your life for the things that really matter to you and make you happy. You are able to save more money as a result of spending less on purchasing and replacing items. Your riches will rise but in similar vein, your time will as well. Living a minimalist lifestyle will make it simpler to manage your time, keep your house tidy, and generally enjoy life. These are the 10 things that can significantly enhance your life forever. You do not have to adopt these habits all at once. Do one at a time and choose the habit that can give you the utmost benefit. You can use a habit tracker to help you track and motivate as you complete your tracker. With that said, this is the financial fortune and thank you for watching.